How on earth do you stay competitive in a lockdown when your office is the swimming pool? 20-year-old swimmer Lewis Clebert was to be our great hope in Tokyo. He's already shown what he's capable of, nabbing medals at, medals at both the World Champs and Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. Now with the Olympic Games on hold, what does training look like when you can't do laps and tumble turns? Lewis Clebert joins me now. Lewis, this was going to be your first Olympics. How excited were you and what now? Yeah, it was super exciting. Um, I mean, I was, I was, you know, I was obviously super excited to get out there and compete this year, but um, obviously it's been postponed. So, at the moment, I've pretty much been out of touch for the pool for for the next four weeks. But um, I think I set up a gym at home from thanks to High Performance Sport New Zealand and um, pretty much just trying to trying to maintain fitness. <laughs> So, Lewis, there's no where you can swim, you don't have a pool at home, that's it for the pool for four weeks? Yeah, pretty much. Unless I want to go in the ocean, I think that's, um, that's it for me. So, how do you feel about that and what advice have you been given about staying in form during that time? Yeah, so we can't really do much about it. Um, and the advice I've been given is just, you know, obviously stay stay healthy and keep, keep healthy and try not um, have too much contact with people. But... Um, I've, the only thing I can do is just try keep fitness up and try and maintain my strength. Um, but I think it's actually quite good for me because I, I think after this four weeks off, that'll be the last time I'll sort of be out of the pool or that'll be my last time of having a break out of the pool until I guess I get to swim in, in Tokyo whenever it is. So I imagine, as you say, totally disappointing, but does, does this at least give you some certainty because there was such a question mark over the Olympics? Yeah, it's it's such a relief because for the last week or so I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to, you know, get pool time if the, the Olympics weren't going to be postponed. So it's it's a relief for me now that I can sort of relax and say, you know what, four weeks out of the pool probably won't hurt me too much if the Olympics is next year. So you, you're studying as well, aren't you? What are you studying for? Is it a Bachelor of Commerce that you've got underway? Yeah, Bachelor of Commerce, uh, majoring in Information Systems and Management. So are you... So are you able to continue on with that? Um, so I think Victoria University has just said that they're going to cancel university for the next five weeks. But um, they've pretty much just told us to continue. Um, I think we've got a few assignments due um, with, that have been, like, we're, that we've le- already learnt the information that we need for them. So we've, we've still got to hand those in um, at, for the time being. But um, all learning has been stopped. Hey, and just before you go, what are your mates doing, other 20-year-olds? How are they approaching the lockdown? <laughs> um, I think a lot of people are getting into the gaming scene. One of, my, one of the boys uh, that is living with us at the moment, he's just he's super happy. He's just got um, his PlayStation 4 delivered. Um, but, yeah, everyone's sort of jumping online. And there's a new app called um, House Party, I think, and everyone's sort of hopping on that and doing some online, um, like, Skype sort of thing. <laughs> A virtual party, Lewis. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, all the best for the next four weeks. Appreciate your time. That is Lewis Clebert, who is one of our great swimmers, was supposed to be going to the Olympics next year, uh, this year rather, and that is postponed until next year. No access to the pool at home. He'll be working out in the gym.